So we finally cleared Purgatory. And let's go to the bog. Mudnut. Well, I guess this is gonna take a while, like usual. That's not what we are here for. We are here for Eidolon. We have reached the bog. And let's give it a try. Hooray! 550 gems. Thank you for that. Well, I guess that was it for the Eidolon part of this video. So let's go to the next task. Yes, we just did that. 30 dices. I guess that is useful. Reach Lunar Isle. I'm assuming that's this one. Off the bog. I got tons of damage, so it should be pretty easy to just grind through the bog. I did one rebirth a while ago, and I unlocked the Angadli contract and another, and the one after Godly here. But you need level 90 for that one, and I can't get higher than 86. So even though I did a rebirth, I got pretty much nothing for it. I did a few of these, so I guess that's something. Can't complain too much about that. But I can't even use these blue ones, for example. But things are going very well in either skilling here. Mostly thanks to... Oh, we got something new. I'm trying to unlock all the potions. Crystalline Rippers. I don't know what that is. Hey, we got another one. Tilling XP and speed. That's pretty good. Oh, another one. Three in a row. That is uh, unusual. Let's do that one and this one. See how that works. We have unlocked up to the candy cane right now, but it's getting pretty slow. I've been stuck in this one for quite some time. Oh well. And here we have the tomato. But my real focus is this, the realm. This is where I get most of my power from this here. Multiplies fight damage outside realm. And here we get more coin outside realm. Better lab. More away gain, better potions, more perks. You're really drowning in perks thanks to this realm system. I like this one. Chance to re-trigger away time. Especially when you're fighting, you can manage to unlock two stages at once. Like, let's say you kill 100,000 enemies. So then you move to the next stage, and then you re-trigger it again. And then you kill a bunch of more enemies. Then you can... Move to the next stage one more time. Here is better mastery bonuses. Broccoli does nothing, I think. And chain level. Sometimes when you level up, you can get another level. These are my current pets. I have the final mutation of everyone except the ogre spawn. They are still too costly. You can see just upgrading once lowers my money by a lot. That's going to take quite some time. 15 more hours until I can keep moving here. I'm not sure which pet you should just spam when you have nothing else to do. At the moment I'm getting Cinderdax. It seems to be pretty good. It has this tax collector bonus. Increase all coin game of 50% per unique minion type. And it stacks. It also have this. More coin. Of course you could get an ogre spawn for the flower. Here I still don't have plot 8. But I think I will get it when I wake up tomorrow. So let's get a baby egg, a little chicken, a duck, and a cinder duck, and a few levels. So yeah, the realm is chugging along pretty well here. I'm drowning in money, so upgrading these pretty often. And do note that the realm has been nerfed like several times, and I didn't abuse any of the exploits. They were already fixed when I found out about them. There used to be a massive one here. But you could spam click the get back all coins several times. I never even tried that. So if you spend all your money here, then you can just spam click this. And then you had three times as much money if you click it three times. I instead upgraded this 100 times. The 10% bonus to all coin gain. I spent a few days with only crocodiles. Because they produce a lot of energy. Now I'm going to get at least 20 here in the bonus damage. Then I'm not sure what I will use the rest for. Thanks to the flower field, everyone now gets energy. Not just the, these guys here with the charger. 
Now we have spare charge as well. Charges the orbs by 1.8 every hour. And this one is one every hour. This one here. Currently level eight. And I can't damage this guy because he has a purple health bar. And to do that, I need to banish someone to damage him. Pretty annoying system. But this put in just to slow you down. It was a real pain to get my first rain bopu. This guy is the only guy that can damage the purple. When banishing minions, deal purple damage equal to realm XP gained. I'm trying to get the 40 unique minion types in the barn, but I'm gonna do that once I can banish them again. No point in sitting with a bunch of boars and big hippos and stuff like that. I mean, I do have some right now, but yeah. That's mainly because I'm not sure what to upgrade them to. I think the boar is mainly damage on all of them, and I don't need damage right now. And the big hippo... Don't really care about him. All the damage, attack speed, and uh, apparently unstackable trades can stack up two times. Not sure if that's working or not. Oh, maybe it is. 3% attack speed for all minions per unique minion type. He attacks every 8 seconds. But maybe there are other bonuses that does that too. We want the Tarantupu. Hey, it worked. Okay, that's good. Maybe one of these then. We'll go offering. 50% cheaper minion upgrade. Let's give this guy a few levels. There we go, level 400. That's plenty. More cash outside, yes please. Better potions, yes that's good. Well, other than that, nothing is really happening in Isle of Skilling. If I ascend now, I would get 30,000, which is pretty decent. I can get another training perk. It's funny, I unlocked a few of the rebirth perks here. But I need 15,000 skilling levels for that, as I currently have 6,950. What a waste of points to unlock these three. It's like I can never use them. Oh, there we go. I was messing around with the mouse, but we got the double trigger there. We had 40,000 first, then we got a double trigger to 80,000. That could have allowed us to skip this one instantly. But now my total kills actually go through to the next one a bit. That's very helpful. You saw I started at like 2000. The main power gain is the realm, like I said. So if you're struggling, focus on the realm. These are my current crusaders. They are very boring to level up. Like you gotta do this, click next, use the skills, click next, use the skills, click next, and so on. You need to do the hundreds of times. So this one is 54, 51, 79. And for each level, you gotta do that every time. Well, let's see here. Did we unlock something? No. Yes, we did. Ooh, more ores mined. That's a good one. I wish there was a quicker way to do this. Nice, now we got a lot more ore. You there, go and make these guys, the blue. And I think that's it for now. I will continue moving towards the Luna Isle. I'm gonna see if I have enough damage. Currently 1000 million. They have 4 million HP, so everything gets one shot. And of course when I use skills, that's a lot of damage. So yeah, some more progress in idle skilling. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.